As stated in the principles of the course, class time will, for the most part, be spent on solving more complex problems. These problems are more representative of what will be on your exams and what you should focus on while studying. If you decide to attend class synchronously, you'll be given time to work with your teams or colleagues and ask for help from myself and the rest of the teaching team. If you are working predominantly asynchronously, I recommend you pause the video at these points and try to work on the problems on your own before moving on. There will be title cards within the videos telling you at which points to pause. Ask for help on the help forum or your peers before moving on if possible. The reason for this is just watching me solve physics problems will help you learn physics about as much as watching the Red Sox will help you learn how to throw a curveball. It pretty much won't. You need to do and struggle and practice in order to learn. The word cloud shown here is comprised of the various action verbs from the detailed what are we going to learn in this class document. Note that while we will of course be calculating, you will also be expected to discuss physics ideas in other representations, such as diagrams and words as well. We will in fact be spending much more time explaining concepts and words in this class than you did in Physics 131. This increased verbal emphasis is a result of the fact that the concepts in Physics 132 are much more abstract and removed from your everyday experience.